What's up, peoples? Daniel Day back again with another unboxing video, and today we're going to be checking out the September 2019 Loot Gaming Crate from Loot Crate. Now, obviously, it is nowhere near September at this point, but as I've mentioned in previous videos, Loot Crate actually filed for bankruptcy. They got a little bit behind on their shipments, and they are slowly but surely catching up. But I am still super curious to see what is in this month's box. So if you are as well, stick around. We will cut it open and figure it out together right after the break. Okay, so as you can see, this month's crate arrived safe and sound. Last month's was, uh, well, it was a little bit of a travesty with a ginormous gaping hole in the bottom of it, but this one appears to be in perfect condition. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got this month. All right, first up, looks like we have got another one of these kind of scrolly things in cardboard. Let's go ahead and get this out and see what it is. It's upside down. Well, will you look at that? Uh, I guess uh, maybe this is this month's poster, but thing is absolutely ginormous. Looks like it's Elder Scrolls Online. Is that elsewhere? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't play ESO, but yeah, man, this thing is huge. Look how long that is. But uh, yeah, very, very cool piece of artwork to be sure. Next up, it looks like we've got this uh, pretty insane Galaga themed uh, phone stand, or at least that's what it says on the packaging that I ripped off of it. There were no other instructions or anything, so I'm not 100% sure exactly how this works or what it does. Uh, obviously, there's a very, very small cutout here and uh, a hole in the top. So I'm guessing that you stick your phone down in there and then you can kind of see like a game or something like that uh, through the screen here. Maybe there's some app you're supposed to download, but not seeing any instructions on it or anything like that. And uh, obviously my... Uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max here uh, absolutely will not fit in the hole while it's in the case. Maybe if I took it out, that would work, but uh, I'm not going to go to all of that trouble. So yeah, not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this thing. Wish there were more instructions with it, but uh, you know, I got to say pretty, pretty unique item. And so that is super cool. It's kind of like those uh, bookends that arrived in a recent crate. You know, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them, but I am absolutely supportive of getting some super unique custom items in these crates. So yeah, overall pretty cool. Just not sure what I'm going to do with it. Next item is a t-shirt. It looks like uh, we have returned to that again. I really hope they get back on track and start actually shipping these shirts in every month's crate. I really like them. Always nice to have something new to wear. Uh, this one apparently is Quake Champions. Look like they shipped it in the correct size and all of that. Not sure what this character's name is, but uh, it says Shadows Hide Me on it. So very, very cool artwork. I like that kind of Quake logo going on in the back. And there's an actual Quake Champions logo down here on the bottom. There is nothing on the back, but it is a nice kind of light gray color. So yeah, overall, really, really dig the shirt. Last but not least is this cloth thing right here. I'm not 100% sure if it is supposed to be a flag or just a piece of wall art, but obviously it is from Doom. The Doom Slayer is uh, pictured right here. It says Slayer's Club which is very neat, really awesome logo. And it's got kind of an upside down Doom Eternal logo right there. Uh, I was kind of hoping that the little tag would give us a little bit more information on what this was, but nope, just a Doom Eternal logo and a little loot gaming thing. So not 100% sure what this is, but I really, really like the last Doom game. Super looking forward to Doom Eternal. It's a shame that it was delayed, but uh, yeah, I can't wait for that to come out. And believe it or not, that was absolutely it. That is the end of the crate. Not sure what the deal is, but uh, there was no other paperwork or anything like that. You've just got your kind of paper scrolly thing with the ESO art on it. And uh, this guy right here 
and uh, this. Oh, and the shirt. Can't forget the shirt. So that was kind of it for this month's crate. I don't know why. It just seems like a little less than we normally get. But hey, what are you going to do? All right. Sounds to me like it is about time to start wrapping up this video. All right. So that was everything that arrived in the September 2019 crate. And got to just say, I am very, very happy that this thing showed up completely intact. Last month, if you haven't checked out that video, you probably should. Had a ginormous gaping hole in it. I am still not sure that I actually received everything everything that was supposed to be in the crate. But this month, probably we got everything, and it is time for me to pick a favorite item. And uh, this month, that honor for sure goes to this awesome Quake Champions shirt right here. I am a big fan of the t-shirts arriving in these crates each month. And for whatever reason, lately, Loot Gaming has kind of been slacking on that. That was part of the deal when I signed up for this service is that they were gonna send you a shirt in whatever size you chose every month. And now that seems to be kind of an optional thing, which sucks, but this month we actually got a shirt. So that is super awesome. I've not played Quake Champions, but I used to play a lot of the older Quake games and this is a pretty cool shirt. So hopefully they will resume sending shirts in every monthly crate going forward. Was this your favorite item as well or was it something else? Let me know in the comment section below. Always love chatting with you guys about that stuff. If you made it this far in the video, just wanted to say thank you. I really appreciate it. Also wanted to give a special shout out to each and every one of my subscribers here on YouTube. You guys rock. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love to encourage you to do so. Also, if you wouldn't mind on your way out giving this video a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. All of my links, including Twitch, Mixer, Twitter, and the new Discord server are located in the description box below. Once again, just wanted to say thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will catch each and every one of you in the next one.